So you do begin to see the cycles, and uh, I guess, Director, you made a comment about uh, 2006, and we've forgotten. That's what we've always found, right? Is that is that um, the teachable moments are so brief, and and I guess the the, the difference between now and, and perhaps earlier in my career is that just now people seem to be paying a bit of attention, <laughs> which they weren't before because you know we have a drought, we have a flood, you do a report, go to the shelf until next time, and then nothing happens, right? Anyway, so in terms of, of um, why I'm here today. I'd like to ask a question of the group. How many of you are actually familiar with or heard of Living Water Smart? So, a third of the, third of the audience. Okay, it's good because I mean that it's, it's a very visionary document. You know, it's, it's very non-governmental in terms of how it was written, but it, it does give us the vision of where we need to go. And uh, so, part of my role then is really is on the implementation side. I'm an on-the-ground guy, and um, my world is the world of open government. You know, where, where, where the rubber hits the road, so to speak, and it's where all the action is. So that's the perspective I'm going to give you in terms of talking about collaboration and design with nature and how we adapt to floods and droughts, which is really what defines uh, climate change for us. So 